Rush. Yeah, you look Rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't have the beard like you yet, but you know, someday it will come. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so. So I want to I wanna talk to Ali Dawa today about uh, Andrew Tate. So, you know, you made a few videos about Andrew Tate, about his conversion. Yeah. What, what do you think about it? What do you think that, why do you think he converted? To be honest, I don't know why he converted. Um, I hope it's that he saw it stand to be the truth. Mm -hmm. um, he probably saw it as the only force that's standing against evil. But that's not the only reason why, what makes it stand true. Because another force could be standing against evil. So I personally believe he's been talking quite positively about Islam for a long time. And it's finally come to the realization that, you know, I'm sure as a Christian, the Trinity, for a man like him, is very, well, we could say he's a quite logical man. Mm -hmm. I don't think the Trinity made any sense to, to believe that the Father, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are not three divine beings, but one being in three persons. I'm sure that was quite cool for him. Yeah. And they have the same problem. The issue, the, the, the doctrine of the Trinity does not make sense. Okay. And something like that's irrational, it's going to cause logical people or people who are just and have a sound mind to reject it. So I believe maybe things played a role. And maybe he saw Islam, the way we live, our okay. way of life. Okay. So you don't think it has anything to do with him being uh, taken off social media? No, I don't think so. Because the thing is, him being taken off social media, how is becoming a Muslim going to help us? Because I think, you know, maybe he wants to, the kind of views, you know, because the way I see Andrew Tate... Like the but way he still I, gets the views. Yeah, yeah, he still gets the views, yeah. but I'm saying that what he represents, what force he represents in our society. Yeah. You know, and I'm sure, I'm sure you represent a similar force, you know, with your YouTube presence and everything. But I think there is a certain problem in our society today in the sense that there are, there are too many answers and not few questions. You know, I think there are a lot of answers given out to us. So for example, you know, Islam is a path, Christianity is a path. And there are lots of different paths offered to us. And people are more than ever searching for that, searching for searching for answers to questions that, you know, they have, but they, they can't have answers. So I think Andrew Tate represents that kind of phenomena in society where it's, it's split, you know, it's split. There's a split that, you know, technology, development, all of our systems of belief have, have progressed so fast, have progressed too fast for people just to stop and think, where do we class ourselves? What, what do we class our society? today to be you know it's not a religious society necessarily like the West I'm talking about it's not a religious society it's almost a society in movement a society at a fracture where what we see around us is far developed far more developed and far more not developed but far more there's so much shown to us there's so much all around our eyes every development is going up like yeah. nothing ever you've ever well, seen well I think the West is technologically developed and yeah. leading but they are morally bankrupt. Morally bankrupt, okay. Yeah. okay. So technologically, yeah, definitely, the, the West is in, but morally they are absolutely bankrupt. Okay. They are absolutely lost, I would say, but yeah. Okay, but who do you think out of the Muslim countries are morally, morally not bankrupt? I think, I think there's a lot of countries that, you know, are Muslim countries that do, like Qatar is a very good example. Qatar? Uh, yeah, Qatar, yeah. Why, why, why Qatar? Well, there's people who are self-confessing to that. They've been girls, Ellie Mollison, I think that was her name. She went there with her dad. Her dad had to be a chaperone because she actually uh, runs a movement so women can have peace, like they can attend matches peacefully without being harassed. Mm -hmm. Sexually or cat, cat call or whatever it may be. So in Qatar, she took her dad because she thought the same thing would happen to what happens in England. Well, to her amazement, she said that he, he, it was better he didn't come because she had a fine no, example. I mean, that's a she wasn't harassed. She watched the match. She went about her business. She was in cat court. There was no sexual harassment. There was no stalking. So to us, again, it just showed that the model that Islam has, the Sharia, is a working model. Okay. It's a pragmatic model and it's a working model. And a woman who goes from England to there just shows that, yes, maybe Qatar might not be technologically that advanced, but they are damn morally advanced. So that's one example. Morally advanced, but in the sense that how many migrant workers died building the stadium? Well, there's, there's, there's a discussion on that, but at the end of the day, let's, let's, let's not show No, but I mean, that's moral. Let's, so. let's, no, let's go with it. Okay. The point, no, of course it's moral. The point is this. The Prophet Muhammad people when he said that you pay the wages of the person before his sweat dries. So Islam is very clear on that. Now, the discussion on 6,500 migrant workers dying, some say some of them, huh? From the number, it is than that. So, and I'm not here to mind that. I have no idea. No, no, no. Some say, you know, they are trying to ascribe like people who had heart attacks and other illnesses who do not die on the work. They cast that as, you know, is it really? So there's discussion on it, but regardless, it's us in Islam, um, slave in Islam has.
What's the same said? Mm-hmm. You, are, you feed yourself. Or then what you call yourself? The concept of in Islam is not like you're trans Atlantic slave. You know, they went through terrible, terrible stuff. It's, you look after you. If you hit your slave, you have to. F- so the thing is, let alone a worker, if a slave is treated, let alone a worker who's working for you. So Islam is very clear. I said before, it's Qatar perfect, but it is leading in the moral sense. Okay, but in opinion, that, do, do you know the, the uh, system of kafala? Sponsorship. Yeah, yeah, I Kafala, heard, yeah, I heard, yeah, yeah. So in of, uh, yeah, Arab countries have it, yeah. Kafala, yeah, yeah. So especially in Qatar. So what will happen? Yeah. I personally, I grew up in Dubai, so oh. I have a. I know it's the same. It's the same way it, it works in Dubai. Yeah, you yeah. go, you know, uh, these. Not a lot of times, I can yeah. say Kafala. It works to on both sides. Yeah. So you know, the employer is yeah. is a nice, is a good, morally good employer, mm. and the person that works for him, yeah. you know, there's a symbiotic relationship. Yeah. But a lot of the time, Kafala, in, what, what that is. is the employer taking away the passport of the worker, and you don't have a passport. And what, what's yeah? So what happens in Qatar yeah. with these migrant workers is they go, they get promised very fantastic things, yeah. and then they get, you know, they get shot building, building that. And in a sense, they're lied to. It. They're lied to. It. They're promised certain things. They're promised these rewards, yeah. you know, fantastic. You know, the, the wages is one thing. The wages they get paid way more than they do yeah. back at home. Yeah. But do you think that is moral? Promising them something and not giving them, and in the process they actually might die. No, of course not. But first, we need to substantiate that is really happening. Like, no. does, that, does that happen? It does happen. We need to substantiate. Oh, well, you can look it up. Yeah, I mean, no, there's a lot need, of evidence. We need, no, we need evidence to support it that this is happening. And if this is happening, again, we are looking at it from a micro lens. So the Western world. For example, is indulged in so much immoral- immorality okay. on different levels. Now, I'm not, cl- I'm not saying, like, for example, there is a great comparison between that. But the point is, first, is there any evidence that these workers are being promised and their uh, passports are confiscated and they're stuck? And we need to step. Back. So okay. I want to, yeah. I want to step back. Okay. But we talk about the West. We talk about you know morality and you know to follow their world view you know which mm-hmm. is like i said before it's full of corruption okay. and especially with the atrocities they've done especially in america the Brit- uh, england oh, no, uh, and who they who they supply arms to and where those arms end up i agree and but do you... millions of people have been killed so they are the last person on this planet to earth to even common question because Qatar is just saying basically this is the values that we live by mm-hmm. and we you want to live by them that's fine we're not going to come and invade exactly. your country exactly. the west doesn't it the west usually invades countries to spread their democracy you know it's a, it's a, you know there's no compulsion about it, but they are invading these countries to enlighten them with a the white man's burden you know yeah. and you know we're here to save you so Kipling. yeah exactly so yeah that's, that's okay no but what, what about Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia same, invaded same, Yemen. Same thing. No, you two supplying them arms. No, they invaded them. Men on the ground. No, no, you supplying them arms. The West. The West supplying them arms. <laughs> but England Saudi Arabia is a good Muslim country. No, it's moralistic, ah, though. Can we say that? Did I say that? Oh, you Did said Qatar. That? You said Qatar. Did I say that? Well, exactly. But Qatar, so, other stuff. So, is but I'm not saying like Saudi is a totally corrupt country. Mm-hmm. There are still the Sharia is still there. Mm-hmm. There are good things about it. And at the end of the day, if you think about it, when it comes to rulership, you're never going to get someone that's going to be better. You end up becoming worse. That's so with us, we believe not rebelling against the ruler. Yeah. We do speak out against. There's, there's a fine line. Saying, speaking out against the evil and rebelling are two separate things. So we don't say, oh, we should go and rebel against Ahmed bin Salman and overthrow him. Yeah. Even though he's committing atrocities, we don't say that because we believe the harm that might come, the new ruler might be worse. Okay. So, so we just say we point out the mistakes. You know, I've done a lot of videos by Saudi Arabia, talk, pointing these out. So yeah, it's, it's in a nutshell. It's just you know. But do you think the like colonial? You, you spoke about you know white man's burden, colonialism. Do you think that's only a Western thing? Well, to be honest, look, it's, it's, Islam also has, we believe that we have superiority when it comes to the way of life. Okay. We have the Sharia. Yeah, the Sharia. The difference between us and the Western powers is that when Islam conquered lands, mm-hmm. they never forced their way of life on the individuals. The Jews and the Christians could live by their own laws, having alcohol, drinking pork, having their monasteries. Uh, they, they, they would not infringe the point. And not only that, you would see that when Islam conquered nearly uh, large portions of the world, none of the wealth of those countries was sent back to Mecca. 
But it not? No, it did not. It went because it went to Damascus instead. No, it didn't. So that was the capital. The central, the capital of the Islamic world is Mecca. But it's actually, Latina. what I'll say is that but the, the yeah. British, if you look at the Queen and uh, those uh, rubies that she is wearing, uh, they was all sent back to where? England. And to this day, these countries okay. are still paying. No, I get you. Uh, so, so what I'm saying is the yeah. difference is that the Western world goes, invades, kills innocent people, okay. and tries to push their democracy down their throat. When Islam conquers that, it said you have a right to. And there's no compulsion in religion. Mm. We're not here to steal your wealth. Rather, they would reinvest in those lands to enrich them, rather than say, oh, let's take it back to Medina and Mecca. That's the difference. Okay, but what about taxation? Yes, taxation so began in, taxation. in Islam. You would love Islam's taxation. Yeah. The amount of taxation no. that I'm paying, uh, believe me, mate, Islamic taxation all day, every day, 2.5%. Mm. 2.5%. And for, a, for, a dip, for a someone who's paying the jizya, I mean, what is it? Per soldier, per person, what? No, no, I'm, I'm, not, what, I'm, I'm, not, saying, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, you know, Trust we spoke you about... You love the Sharia. No, 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 Sharia. My dad's a specialist in Sharia. But, yeah. but um, regardless of that, like, taxation. Taxation was initially it was an Islamic concept. So when they conquered territory, it would go... It would go back because no, tax, no. tax, tax, tax. No, of course, but so, no, it, it wouldn't go back to Medina, Mecca. It will go back to, for example, Islam is ruling Egypt, mm -hmm. and you have a governor there. Yeah. Yes. Of course, that's going to go to the treasury, yeah. and that's going to be reinvested to expand. And, but we did, you don't take those stuff. You don't see like go to the British Museum and see so much fish, stuff that's stolen. Yeah. Okay. okay. So the point is, Islam doesn't have that, and it's, it's a clear model. It's a clear okay, model. but the Islam Islamic. I mean, the last time I remember the Islamic Empire was in the eighth century. Yeah. Eight century, so I mean, no, no, eight eight century, to, eight eight century, but the Ottomans, what about the Ottomans? What about the, the Ottomans, Ottomans took, what about they, 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 they pushed, they pushed Islam on look, people. Look, look. That's the Islamic no, no, Empire, no? No, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. Yes, no, no, when they invaded Constantinople, they made no, Istanbul. No, 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 you see, you're missing the point. Conquering, nobody said, no one can have an issue with conquering. Conquering and forced conversions are two separate issues. Me taking over England mm -hmm. and then saying, look, you guys can, you want to be a Christian? That's why I'd be Christian. We would like a tax jizya. No problem. You pay that tax, live in peace. Nobody's going to come and but see you. You have to follow our way I mean, of life. The British Empire, a lot of it was done through indirect. So that for a lot of the time in Britain, they didn't push Christianity down people's throats. Yeah. And no, when they, they invaded India. Crusaders. When they invaded India. Crusaders when they invaded India, they came, Crusaders were at the... Crusaders, that's a, that's a whole different point. Crusaders gave no chance for you to become a Christian. They bloody slaughtered you. Exactly. All I'm saying, I'm not talking about... I'm talking about... You, you mentioned Britain. So Britain, a lot of the time, they rule through indirects. You know, they, they, the Mughals, they allowed them to be Hindu. They allowed them. They had their own religion. As long, as long as things were working towards the British way, which is exactly how you said Islam happens. You know, so it's the same exactly. No, 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 no. They allowed. They allowed Hindu. They allowed it. They, it's very different. It's very. They didn't come in as the British Empire didn't come in with their Christian swords and their Christian Trust me, they did. things. That's, that's, that's their hoping they'll have missionaries. No, 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 no. missionaries they had. Missionaries they had. You see in Malawi. You see in Africa. These things happen. It's, it's, it was by, the, you know, they, they would go and send the missionaries to convert these people to Christianity because they believed these people were um, savages, un, un, savages, yep. un, uncivilized people. So that's why the white man's burden is, is, is to go and liberate these people from being savages, and that is continued to today. When uh, they invaded Iraq, George Bush said, you know, that this my, I had a dream about my father. He was talking about his heavenly father. So it's a crusade. It was a, it was a crusade, and even Tony Blair. They went and killed a million Iraqis. Innocent uh -huh. people, half a million uh, Afghanis, yeah? Just so we know. But nobody talks about it. It's just like, yeah. No, they did talk about it's it. It's collateral actually. damage. No, there was, who's that woman? No, there's a lot of backlash. That, I, think. That, I forgot that woman's name. She was on TV and she said, half a million Iraqi kids. She said, was the price worth it? She said, it was worth it. It was worth it. No. Half a million kids starved to death. No, 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 no. But this is. So no, the I West, get you. Uh, the West is wrong in that way. No, but no, I'm just no, I'm no, asking. The West is wrong. I'm asking you, do you, do, you really, do you really think that they're the only ones that are morally bankrupt? Is it, they, they, there is. They, give me. Okay, but I'm asking you. Yeah, so we talk about Qatar, you know, Qatar, we can, 6,500... Qatar is no Qatar, look, look, to even talk about Qatar is a big insult to what we're talking about here. We're talking about a group of people who have caused havoc. How many countries has America invaded? How many innocent people have they killed? Yeah? So the thing is, to come here, it's like me, it's like you coming and talking about Hitler, and I go, yeah, but you know, in Brazil, there's, you know, 
So you compare, you're saying it was like Hitler. The comparison is, is well, well, Hitler killed six and a half million Jews. Yeah. yeah? Not so, only. Which is, which is still terrible. No, of course, the World War II. Not only. No, no, yes, yeah. So what I'm saying is, we're talking about something to that scale. And if I come here and say, yeah, but you know, in Brazil. No, oh, I agree, I agree. I, uh, but I'd say both, both, both. They, if, you look at the, if you look at the Ottomans, for example, if you look at the Ottomans, if you look at the Mongolians, yeah. they were both Muslim. What did the Mongolians do? They came in, they burned everything. No, no, no. And then they were Ilkhanis. They were. Uh, they were Muslim. No, the Mongols, the Mongols, they, they were, they were literally. They converted. After, after. But even they, their conversion, even Taymiyyah, he, he just took fiddle and he called them disbelievers. Mm -hmm. So some of them. So the thing is this. Yes, later on, after they killed so many Muslims, do you remember they killed Muslims, they killed the Mongols? Yeah. Later on, their children kind of came to Islam, kind of. But they, kind of. The, even when they came over to Islam, they kept killing them. No, kind of. No, no, no. At the end of the day, that is their old belief system. Because nowhere in Islam does it tell you. It's very clear with us. There is no proportional religion. We are not allowed to kill a person because of their faith. It's forbidden. Christian, Jew, whatever you are, we cannot come and kill you because you can't convert. It's, it's forbidden. I can't force you to convert. Convert to Islam, it's not allowed. Okay. So we're allowed to conquer lands, but we're not allowed to convert. Okay, but what about, we, we spoke about history, you know, we spoke historically, you know, both both sides conquer whatever. What, what would you say about, like, the Islamic states, so ISIS? What about what, what would you say about... Uh, so ISIS? No, 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 no I'm just asking you, like, do you not think that what they... What about Israel? No, 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 I'm asking you about ISIS. So, yeah, and I'm so, giving you the same comparison, Israel. No, 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 so Islamic State, ISIS. Israel. No. Let me finish, and then we'll talk about Israel. Okay. okay. No, they're both the same. So Islamic State is Israel. Yeah, same. No, they're the same. Okay. same no, no, no. So you're killing innocent people. No, no, I'm saying Islamic State. One is state terror, one is... Uh, no, 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 but they, they, they expand the state. It's like the ISIS. Like Israel, still land, yes. Yeah, correct. Right, but I'm saying, so you ISIS... You expands, expands what? ISIS, what was their point? What was their purpose? What was their purpose? What, backs, what, what, what was their purpose? In terms of I don't know, misguidance. No, no, no. They, they, of course, they wanted to spread and no, no, convert, didn't they? They were misguided. No, but it doesn't work like that. In Islam, it doesn't work. I mean, I, hey, hey, I made a group. Come and join me, guys. What's your goal? To take over the world. It doesn't work like that. No, but they wanted to create an Islamic state. They wanted to create Jannah on Earth. No, 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 it's fine. It's but that was, that was what they professed in 2014. If you watch the, if you watch the, they was lying, but they, but they did, they, no, that, that was, right. that was right. what they said. That you can say whatever you like. KKK, they say we're under the banner of Christianity. Yeah. I mean, how many Christians? No, but they, they actually did create a state. No, they, no, they attempted to. They attempted, but it's survived for a few years. How many scholars? But what's the legitimate though? Oh, because, no, it's not that simple, man. You can't just turn around and be like. No, no, but ask, tell me. Tell no, me. that's why they have something. There's principles. For example, when somebody comes and declares a Khilafah, firstly, who are you? What are you about? You can't, you know, nobody can just turn around and be like, hey, today I've decided to Khilafah, come and join me. It doesn't work like that. But they were backed by, by ISIS, by, um, by, by, backed by Qatar. Who's backed by Qatar? ISIS. Where's the evidence? Get up. Huh? Get up. And you brought up Sorry? the point, you have to prove what it. Is, what did he say? Well, I don't have it. Oh, it but you brought up the point, surely. No, 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 no. I can't, can't I prove a negative. No, 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 no. I, asked, I asked him to say, the guy asked no him. No, no. ISIS. No, 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 no. Maybe Israel, ISIS, but Israel, there, Israel, there, there are a lot of terrorist Israel, organizations backed by... Israel created ISIS. Israel created ISIS. Yeah. Hell. Look it up. <laughs> no, no, Tom. Look it up. No, I'm telling you. I need to look it up. Well, okay, but uh, uh, this is a that's chain of reasoning. That's chain of point. reasoning. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's my point. It's a chain of reasoning that you did. No, 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 no. It's a chain of reasoning that okay, you Okay, let's talk about Israel now. You said we'll talk about Israel. Okay, yeah, but Israel, I can say the same thing about Israel. No, you no can't. if I don't believe in them, if I don't, if I don't follow them. Majority of the Muslims, we associate themselves from ISIS. Majority of the yeah. So one, one, I don't one, is, that. one does say, one does terrorism. Majority of the Muslims say nothing to do with Islam. We uh, are against it. Majority of the Jews in this country, excuse us, come back there. Can come there? Yeah. Go to him and say we condemn Israel. He say never. Majority of the Jews in this country support Israel. The difference is very clear. We condemn ISIS. Israel is supported by the Jews. Okay, okay, fine, fine. You know, Israel, like, I'm not, I'm not Jewish. You no, know, I'm not, I'm not. Terrorist state. It's I'm a terrorist, terrorist state. state. Okay. Why is it a terrorist is state? Is it a terrorist state? Do you okay. accept it being a terrorist state? I don't think so. You don't? I don't think, I don't, I mean, well, okay, they, killed, they killed 67 kids the last year. Okay. Is that terrorism? Russia killed. Is that terrorism? Every state kills children. No, that's not not every terrorism. state, but like a lot no, of states not. do. No, that's not. Is that terrorism? It's terrorism in and of itself. Okay. If so you look at it, you okay. look at it. Okay, that's fine. So but I think there is a jump because I think the same One argument, second. for One example. Yeah, yeah. No, no, 67 kids have been killed. Do you condemn it? I condemn it. Okay. Do you, do you accept that Israel has committed acts of terrorism towards these kids? Acts of atrocities, yeah. 
Terrorism. I think, yeah, okay, Asking, actually, what's the definition of terrorism? What is your definition? I think it's the, killing the innocent advancement of terror, the, the advancement of terror. No, 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 killing innocent people due to political reasons. Killing, killing, killing innocent people for political gains, for political gains and political yes. activism. Yes. yes, so that's Israel. They but Israel is already is a state. State, state terrorism. But they, uh, do, you think they, do you think Israel defines itself through killing children? Do you think that's how it defines itself? Oh, no, killing children. Do think, so, do think but how do terrorist organizations define themselves? Do you, do you think ISIS will come and say, we define ourselves as killing kids? No, 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 no. But they say they define themselves in their own manner. So yeah, like, I mean, ISIS won. You ISIS, when they cut, when they, when they, when you saw those videos cutting off infidels, I mean, kafirs, I mean, I mean, well, how do they define I mean, themselves I then? I have to say, the production was bloody amazing. If you think about it, the production of these cameras and the way, and I'm thinking to myself, like, what kind of production do you have? It looks like Hollywood. I'm thinking, well, like, I'll be honest, there was a big question. Mark. I was thinking they're setting people on fire and, it's, and I'm thinking to myself that's crazy like it, to me I don't know if I could believe that like what? what I would see the production ISIS had have you seen the video it's crazy it was like in Hollywood no no like, but it's crazy but also but what did they do then so that is that is purposely filming to act to promulgate and to forward a political purpose that's, that's fine yes that's fine but um, I'm saying that when Israel kills kids they don't define themselves they don't define the state of killing well, the difference is very what they do uh, is behind the scenes. Yes. So they say, no, we don't want to go on some more kids. How? Okay. Mission. Yeah, no. Yes. Like the children of Saudi Arabia terrorists. Yes, any state. Any Saudi Arabia is a any, terrorist state. Any, any state that kills people, they are doing acts. Okay, okay. And under that definition, I can define. State in the world is yes, a terrorist 100%. state. Okay, like then, America, then, but then it loses. England. But then you see it loses its value oh, if everyone's I, a terrorist I don't state. Care if it loses it. So so Saudi, Saudi's terrorists. a terrorist state. Then look, I don't care. They're all, they're all terrorist I, states. Whoever, I don't okay, care. The point, the, this, the, the, point, the point is this. The act is that's the definition and that's the act. Okay, we're I not agree. Gonna say, we're not going to say, oh, we'll have to label everybody. So what? If the whole world is involved, they're, they're, they're no, but then surely there should be a way of like defining it. So what you're saying? There has to be a justification. Not a justification. You're saying if everyone's terrorist, then nobody's a terrorist. Yeah. Let's, let's call it collateral damage. Okay. It sounds better. No, okay. it's not. It's, it's not no. collateral damage. It's not collateral. I'm not saying it's. But I'm saying that if but you define what, if you define every single well, state as terrorist, because you can according to your measurements. Okay, good. So what that shows is that then we can't do that. You see. Okay, you can't do that. Why not? We need to. We need to differentiate. Ah, uh, good. So we need to differentiate. Is, we need to dig a dip, dig a bit deeper, okay, not good, stay on the good, surface. Good, good. So you're dig a bit deeper. So yes, what exactly. differentiates Saudi Arabia from Israel? No, there you go. So the point. What I'm saying is this. Number one, Saudi Arabia didn't go and steal anybody's land. Yes. Okay. They didn't do that. They didn't so because of the Quran said so, yeah. They, they, the Israel, the Jewish, the Israelis, the Zionists, they have their uh, decision making factor based on a book. Yeah, and the Bible says this, and we're going to do that, and we're going to kick out these people who live here for many years, and then we're going to kill them, we're going to bomb them. Is Gaza, that what it says in their book? Gaza, well, well, yeah, in the book. It, of, says, to, it says uh, that they're going to bomb them. First Samuel them. chapter 15, verse 2, yeah, they probably follow that, yeah? It was to kill men, men, women, children, yeah? Gaza is the biggest open air prison. No, I agree, planet. I agree. The conditions are awful. No, no conditions are awful, bro. Come on, man. The point I'm saying is that we need to call it out. It's simple as that. No, no, I agree. That's what I think saying. we need to call out all forms, yeah, and I think also we need to kill out the 6,500 right. migrant workers that died in Qatar that began look, 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 our look, conversation. Look, look, look. Again, number one, if that happens, it's actually, they are wrong. against that point, sorry, it's yeah. not all the migrants that work in the state. Let's, 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 let's wrap up on oh, this. It's everyone. We had a nice discussion. Yeah, yeah.